Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I am a spiritual guide and paranormal adept. The journey continues today on July 3rd, 2022 at approximately 6.20 p.m. PST. Today it's going to be a little different. This is a really short one because I came across... How do I put this? I came across a an email that was sent to me. Oh, okay. That, and I can't find the email at this point, so... Welcome to my world. In any event, apparently on one of my videos, I made a statement that essentially came across, and I'm paraphrasing, and I do appreciate the, the input, but apparently it came across as though, as though I was against the government helping people, which could not be, frankly, further from the truth. I do apologize if that's the way it came across to people. Okay, where I have the problem is with the government stepping up and helping people when the people are flat out refusing to help themselves. A point in, in you know, a prime example was I was I met a guy that was begging on the street. Now I've got no problem with people on the street on the whole. Okay, but this gentleman, because I, my usual method is I'll stop and talk to somebody on the street, find out what put them there before I even think about giving them money. Okay, or giving them a hand. So I stopped with this guy, and I says, you know, the first time I went by him, I didn't have a lot of time. So I gave him a little bit of money. Okay, this is just the way I operate. But this one day, this one day, I came, came across the same gentleman. I had a little more time to my name. So I turned around, and I, st I says, you know, curiosity, but why, what is put you out here? I know the way the world is, but why are you out here begging? And I kid you not, this gentleman, and he was only somewhere I surmise in his early to mid-twenties. Okay, he might have been in his late twenties, but I'm not entirely certain. The point being, when I asked him what put him out there, he said, you know, he says, well, he says, I do have a full-time job. But, he goes, I'm not making, I'm making just enough to barely get my rent and my utilities paid. I don't have anything extra. Okay, which happens. I mean, the, the pay scale in this world right now, in my opinion, is just appalling. Okay, so I could understand that, but I looked at him and I says, well, because the parking lot he was begging in, he was begging right outside a grocery store. But the parking lot that he was sitting on, he was sitting there begging in front of the building. Okay, he's sitting be begging in front of this building, in front of this grocery store. But across the parking lot was a McDonald's. And I, you know, and so I suggest, I says, well, have you considered walking across the, across the parking lot there and applying to the McDonald's right there? Because I know for a fact that specific McDonald's especially will work around your, say, your current working schedule and give you part-time work to pick up a little extra. His immediate response was, I'm not working at McDonald's. I just looked at him and I said, I'm hungry enough. And I turned around and walked off. Now, on the flip side of that, okay, I was talking to a gen another gentleman that was on the street and asked him what put, him, what put him out there. And he goes, look, he says, it's simple. I'll be honest, he says, I'm an alcoholic. He goes, I've been through, AA, through the AA program four times already. And I'm scheduled to go back in on Thursday to start my fifth run at it. Okay. Now, some people have massive problems with alcoholism. Okay. And I looked and he says, look, if you give me, if you give me money, I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy alcohol. And I looked at him and I, and I handed him a $5 bill. And he stops. He goes, wait a minute. I just told you I'm going to drink it. And you're giving me a $5 bill. I said, look, you're having a hard time right now. But the key factor here is you're being honest and you are making the effort. Now, this may sound counterproductive to you. Okay, it may sound counterproductive to you and to you, my, my subscribers. But the reality of it is this gentleman was being honest. He was making the effort to break the problem. But if you've ever had a problem with drugs or alcohol, or for that matter, eating or any other number of, of addictions, okay, 
it is a massive problem. I used to drink a 26 or a night myself, and I gave up. I quit counting lines at six, and we're just not going to talk about the marijuana or the beer as far as how much I went through. But the point I was getting at with the with the video the other day is I learned another gentleman I was talking to, okay, another gentleman I knew personally. I was talking to him, he got a job doing inventory. He worked at the job for less than half a day. And this is from his mouth to my ears. Okay. And he turns around, he says, I quit my job. I looked at him, I went, why? He goes, well, because I, you know, I'm, there's a girl there that's been working there for 10 years and I'm not, and she's making more money than I am. Okay. Now he turned around and having done that, went and got on social assistance in less than 24 hours. Okay. Now this is the type of thing I'm very much against. Okay. If you're not willing to work and you're able, okay then why, pray tell, should the government, i.e. the taxpayers, foot the bill to keep you in a house? Okay, don't get me wrong, I, I am absolutely appalled at the, at the housing stay, at the housing situation right now. Okay, and the government, frankly, I know of a situation where, where there was one politician in particular that went, I'm going to go on social services for a month to prove how easy it is. You know, to prove that these people have enough money. Okay. Well, apparently the man lasted a week and went, yep, they've got enough money to live on, so I'm going back to my normal lifestyle. Now, this is an absolute appalling exercise in money management from the governmental state. Okay. And like I said, when you've got people that are working, that are really working to get ahead, that are making the effort, I'm absolutely all for giving them all the help they can get, whether they've got hiccups, whether they've got problems or not. Okay, it's the issue of giving people the free, no the, the free support when they're not doing anything to actually help themselves. Now, this falls right on the backbone of governments giving, giving narcotics to drug addicts. Okay while they're giving free narcotics to drug addicts, while they're not giving free medication to cancer patients, to, you know, people with, with mental disability, with actual mental, mental complications, you know, to diabetics. They're charging them through the nose, and yet they're giving free, free narcotics, and, you know, free narcotics to drug addicts. Now, I don't profess to understand even a fraction of what the government goes through. They've got a job that is phenomenally difficult. But some things just seem to be blatantly obvious from my end. Now, maybe I'm a bit naive. But I definitely do not, you know, do not want to leave it sitting that I support the idea of government shouldn't support people. Government should be doing a lot more. One thing I've noticed, okay, and I know this is going to cause flack, but the reality is, you know, there's, there's this neat backwards philosophy, or it seems to be from everybody I've talked to. Okay, the more money you make, the less taxes you have to pay. Now, there's no functional logic in this, at least not from my standpoint. The people that require the tax breaks are the ones that are barely getting by, not the ones that are making, making millions. Now, as it was stated, I saw one, one article that said really clearly, that, you know, if the billionaires paid taxes, they'd still be making billion do uh, billions of dollars. Okay, whereas the people that are barely surviving, and yes, I have been on that, la on that end of the street for a very long time. Okay, but like I said, I'm not going to carry this one on very long, and I'm thinking I'm going to get flack because of, because of this one. This is where I run into a snag. So, if I get fly, if I get flack for this one for YouTube, I'm going to disappear for a while, and you're just going to have to realize. Absolutely, drop me a line, you know, at any one of the comment of the contact points below this video, okay, or put the comments in the video itself, okay, in the comment section. 
I don't know what's going to happen. I made a comment a couple of weeks back that went against policy. And, you know, I don't know whether this one's going to backfire. I hope not. But I guess we'll see in a little bit. But with that in, with that in mind, hopefully this gets to the person that actually that sent me the email. Because the email, I can't find it anywhere. Okay, otherwise I otherwise I would say I would reply to them directly. But with that in mind, like I said, I am absolutely all for the government helping people in true need. It's the ones that are just simply going, I don't want to work, but I want the government to pay for it. You know, I want and thereby I desire the taxpayers to pay for it. Those are the people I have a complication with. Now with that in mind, I will be back again, but until then, take care of yourselves and each other, and for pity's sakes, stay positive.